Okay, here we are. Uh, we're going to start with a new one. We're doing problem 312 in the book. And we want the set inches template. And we're good to go. Uh, the circles on the left, I like to start with circles uh, because it's harder to align things. So the circle on the left has radius 1, and then another circle with radius 5 for the center. Now we can draw the straight portion. So we'll draw a line. And this is going over 3 and then up. Well, it doesn't say how far up. So where are we going? there is the back. And now we're supposed to come down uh, 45, so it looks like we need to get the information from the top view. We can trim uh, all so that we can get our arc back. So there's sort of an outline of where we are in the front view. Uh, and we still need to do the diagonal portion on the left. So moving us down, now we can Oops, I drew all of this in dimension line, so select everything. Oh, I'm still trimming. Select everything, and let's move this to the visible layer. And then move us on construction line. And construction line, basically, let's bring stuff up stuff to the right. So I'm starting at the upper right corner, so now we have our 45 degree construction lines. And now we can copy them over to all of our key points that we have so far. And now uh, we can draw the top view. This is the top view. If we grab this point and move up, there's a reasonable gap. So it's going to come down one. Oops. So if you select from right to left, it selects everything. If you select from left to right, it only selects uh, what you draw the box around from left to right. does uh, from right to left it's everything it touches so coming down here at 45 degree angle this is going to go all the way across up uh, the thickness there is 0.5 and then this is going to go all the way out to uh, 2.5 minus 4 is 1.5. No, it's not 4, it's 5. So we can come back here, move this over 1, and go back to drawing our line. So the slot with the total distance here, so this is distance 1, 5, and all the way over. And we can draw our down here at 45. And now let's select this and move it to the front. So now we have the top view, and we can come back here, grab this point, bring it down here. And that basically.
so it goes to the midpoint right there. And we'll have a line going across like that. And then you can take this So now I think we have the visible lines in the front and the top. Now we can grab this uh, horizontal construction line, uh, pick, a, pick your favorite corner, and then basically grab all the points we need, and now grab a vertical construction line and copy it. Again, pick an intersection and then there we go. So those are all of our visible lines. Uh, now we can draw a line. And we can just grab the other lines uh, from the right side. And so we're going to get a basically end up with a box around like that. Taking this corner will look like a box, so it's going to go from here to here to there. If I just hit enter, it does your last command. So that's going to be our visible lines. Now we can come in and add our hidden lines. So we're going to have hidden lines. from here to here. And this doesn't look like it's quite right in the center. No, it wasn't. And we can copy it over from here to there. Now we can do our center line. I typically draw my center lines directly across, and they need to extend beyond the line, so now we can just use our fill handle and just drag it down a little bit, say 0.3, and now we have our center line set up in terms of hit, hidden lines, so now we can draw a box around it, and we'll copy it from there up to there. And uh, say from there over to there. Now we can rotate this ninety degrees. I think I got too much with that. Copy it from there to there. Because what we're going to have is these hidden lines corresponding to these two slots. One's right there. And I'm just typing enter twice to get that now. We've probably drawn enough that we can actually turn off our construction layer and see how things look. So, mistakes I made. I have a center line on top of a visible line. Uh, and so the visible line wins. And, oh, we need center line still over there. So center line, draw a line from this quadrant to that quadrant. And then I would drag it out uh, 0.8 looks good. And we want it to be equal distant uh, top and bottom so that we'll, we'll end up with a nice cross in the center. Now I can take this and uh, 
rotate it about the center. We want to copy it 90 degrees. Now we have a nice center line right there. So I believe that's our drawing. Looking, I think we have everything. So that's it.